Hello and welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to take apart your uh, toddler doll. This is the Sandy Sculpt by Joanna Kazmerzak. I'm so sorry, Joanna, if I'm saying your last name wrong. So, Joanna K. Sculpt of Sandy. Um, she's a, I believe, 24 inches high and she cannot stand. This is an example of there's nothing in her legs. I don't even have filler in her legs, but she needs support. She needs an armature. And the armatures are sometimes hard to get. Um, they are sold in this white type of uh, connectors. And usually you can go to a doll site and buy one for a taller doll. I believe the smaller ones are only available. Um, if you can see, uh, it says uh, Jeton, J-E-T-O-N, is one of the brands. There might be a universal one. There probably is. Um, I'm going to share with you an option that I came up with on my own because I've been putting together dolls since I was 16, um, porcelain dolls. <clears throat> I've also put them in um, armatures and um, in uh, regular vinyl dolls that are not squishy. Um, sometimes a doll that's uh, tall is still going to need a little bit of support to lean against something if it was with an armature like this because see how how skinny it is I mean I don't know if they make them much larger so my thought was these dolls have enough room in their legs and arms to go a little bit bigger and if us humans have uh, strong bones and a spine in our torso all the way up to our neck um, we are able to stand right so think about this as the only bone that is in the leg and the only bone that is going up into the torso and they don't even make them that have a neck uh, they usually they usually go straight across they'll go up and then they'll go straight across into the arms uh, you will have to add extra if you want them to go up into the head you would also have to add extra if you wanted to go into the foot. Our feet have bones and tendons that support us to be able to stand up. Mainly it's our toes that help us stand up. So with shoes on, this will give it more support. But I really wanted to go with a larger, um, something similar. These uh, do snap on and off kind of like a Lego. Um, sometimes they're hard to get back on. See, they're hard to get back on. They're easier to take off. Um, I'm going to get this little thing that I like. I use this. This is actually something that you can get to line your shelves. It's kind of a cushy thing. I keep this in my art room to be able to, like, um, uh, get a good grip. Like, you could open a pickle jar with this or... You can use it to help you get a grip to put these back together. I'm going to like, I wasn't even going to demonstrate this because I'm not using this one today. But they actually have a tool. I'm not even going to mess with that because I'm not using this one today. I'm going to show you one that I'm using. I'm using some of these. And these are my larger ones. I'm going to give this baby everything that you see right here. All of this is going to be inside this doll, believe it or not. Okay, so let's get started. Oh, let me just tell you that these are a universal, um, same same idea, It can same shape. It connects exactly the same. Look at the difference in size. These are pretty similar, but I'm using these two. 
there is no brand name on here. It's a universal. It's supposed to be able to connect to the Jeton product that is made in blue. I will tell you that this here, you can see these little things that are on here and there's a valve. What do you think that's used for? What do you think the valve is for? I'm going to tell you that these are designed to be used like for antifreeze or different chemicals that go in uh, like an AC unit or another appliance or maybe even an engine I'm not sure but see how it's flexible the tube so they can connect it there's all different types of connectors to be able to connect it and then I guess the fluid goes through here and this is made out of a material that's strong enough and leak proof that the fluid won't leak out and you can keep adding on and what I do is I don't need this part so I'm going to snap that off okay I don't need that one I don't need this one either I'm going to I'm going to use my little handy tool here that's easier to snap off now I'm going to tell you in advance that the part that this part came off of is going to be able to connect easier with the another blue part once you remove this part. It's harder to connect a piece on that, you know, in the middle here. I was having some difficulty. There are There is a tool that helps you, but just like I don't have it, I'm using this. So I'm going to need... Um, I'm going to need all these pieces taken off, so I'm going to just, we'll probably fast forward it here, but I'm, I'm going to take those off. I'll show you how this is all going to work, but right now, you're going to take two of these, and you're going to connect them. And sometimes I have to reverse it. Believe me, it's strong, but it's meant to be strong. And I might have to have it off camera because I, I usually hold it up against my body, so I'm going to do that. You can get a better grip. Put it on your lap. There it goes. So hold on to it right on your lap and press it in. You get a better grip if you hold it on your lap trying to do it in the middle you know you don't get much strength if I'm holding it up here to try and push it in and I don't have the camera set on my lap so watch this I'm taking it to my lap holding on to it really tight and you're gonna hear it pop in okay I'm back and the camera stopped so I think what I was doing I was getting ready to sh measure this piece and then I took off um, a few so it would equal 24 inches. So we now have um, two long of the smaller ones at 24 inches each. And I don't want to spoil things and tell you in advance what how we're putting this together because I want you to watch. Um, you can always fast forward. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is I have a sample here. On one end we're going to put a little bit of uh, a little bit of polyfill in the hole. Let's see if you can see. There's actually you can't. I don't know if if I turned it towards the light. If you can see, um, you know, these are made for like chemicals and things to be going through this tube and twisted at any angle you want for like an an air conditioning unit for the antifreeze and things to go in it. So what we don't want is when I get the glass beads in the feet um, leading up into the body, um, one of these ends is going to be down in the feet and the other going up. I don't want any um, filler like glass beads going into this tube. So you're going to take a little bit of filler and you can poke that in with the 
tip of a pair of scissors or a, you know like that one weigh in a little this is these are this is a larger hole so I'm putting a little bit more in and we're not filling the entire tube I'm just creating a little barrier inside here I don't need that much scissors actually kind of work just as fine poking that in there okay so we got some of that in there next we're going to put some uh, E6000 glue this is usually was a bigger tube it says E6000 it's clear it's transparent it's permanent bond it's washer dryer safe photo safe flexible um, it's also waterproof um, there is warning for vapor harmful you want to have a window open or a mask on I'm going to do this so quickly and then I will put this like in my garage to dry so we're just gonna put right in there like that and then I'll do the same thing on the other one I use this little cup just to rest my glue so pretend that I did the other large one um, now I'm moving on to the skinnier one here we're gonna stuff some filler in there to, so the glue because I'll tell you the first one that I put some glue in I walked away I came back I'm like where's my glue it just funneled down in into it so if you want to waste a whole bunch of glue and let it funnel all the way through that's your option this worked better if I opened it like that and my scissors are pointier scissors work better see that okay. this was already dripping a little bit stick that in there like that Okay, so they both have glue on there and what I did in advance here is I this is a piece of uh, white stocking material you can use some cotton anything and you're just going to take it stretch it over the top there let that bond to that create a nice block so that once inside the baby doll it's not going to go through so here's this one and this will dry and harden and then you can trim off the excess if you want or just leave it there it won't matter okay so I already have some already hard and dry so we don't have to wait I did it last night so I don't need my glue anymore but I did want to demonstrate that part because I don't want you to like learn the hard way and go oh where'd my glue go and it went all the way down inside and E6000 glue is not it's not cheap so let's put that down here okay I'm going to put all these sample ones away and get the ones I already finished last night. These are done. And I did both sides. So you see I have both sides have been glued. And you don't have to do this, but I'm going to go ahead and trim off. Now... I had to take a break earlier and there was a lot more light in my room here so if you see a lighting difference it's because there's no light coming in through the window I'm just working off my photo photography lights so it could be a little bit darker I might have to turn on another light behind me you don't have to make this too pretty it's not going to be seen it just needs to to have a 
So there we go. This one. Like I said, it does not need to be pretty. I don't even need to trim it off. You don't need to, but I just didn't want... When I start to pour my glass beads into the foot, I don't want anything in the way. Because these are already going to be in the way a little bit, but you'll, you'll see what I'm doing here. So, and then... Here's for the, t the larger one I pre-glued last night. Go ahead. This is the part that's going to go in the foot. So I already decided last night, because this is the side that I glued, that that's going to go down into the foot. The wider end is going to come up for the neck. In fact, now that I'm thinking about it, that was the better way. And you need two of those. Here it is, right here. This is hard. It's okay. So just to recap here, glue the smaller, the round knob one. You don't need to glue the top wide one. Top wide one's going to come out of the neck, and the round one is going to go down towards the ankle. It's smaller, leading up to the neck. We have all four here. I'm going to take all of them, set them aside here. And if you got a doll and you don't know how to do this part, this is good to know how to do this part. I have these, um, they're like um, grooming for either your finger or toenails for they work great for clipping the cable tie. And I did want to show that I I made three Sandy Sculpt dolls, not just one. Um, I'll be sharing all three of them, uh, hopefully all at once. Well, at least all photographed all at once, and all three will be up for adoption. This is just one of them that I have that I'm showing. Okay, so what you want to do, you know what, I didn't tighten these up, but normally you would, you wouldn't be able to get these off and you would clip them. I think I purposely didn't tighten them up so that I could fit the, the legs back in there. Otherwise you have to buy or have on hand all new cable ties. So I just put that in loosely. So normally you're not going to be able to do that. You would take your little cutters and you would come in real close and cut that off, the cable tie off, and then you'd have new ones to put put in. But I forgot that I just loosely put those on there. So if you already have filling, you're going to take that out. And I have a empty grocery bag that I'm using. And I'm just going to toss that all back in here. And this is a time that if you decide you want fluffier filler, you would purchase that. Maybe this is a secondhand doll and you want to put fresh filler in there. Maybe you want to have time to, to wash the body and let it dry. I would hand wash it and you could start fresh with filling your doll. Um, I don't have anything inside here, no filler to remove, but if you had a doll that had filler, you could just empty everything out and start fresh. So what we're going to do here is, 